Smith, and this is Total Body Circuit. So it's a combination of strength training and cardio. Strength training for the upper and lower body and cardio to really burn lots of calories. You're gonna need some weights. I'm using five pounds today. So threes, fives, whatever is comfortable for your fitness level. But by the way, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it because you can get some soup cans or, or, or extra set of beans you have around the house right now to use for your weights. Also, make sure you have some space and make sure that you personalize the workout. If you want to stop it, if you want to pause it, if you want to rewind it, this is your workout today. So make sure you do what's right for your body. If you're ready, we're going to get started with some deep breathing. I always warm up with a few breaths. So inhale up and exhale out. Now, each time I inhale, I let my diaphragm go, I fill up my lungs, and then I exhale. And I'm trying to breathe in and out through my nose. So four counts to get it up and inhale, and four counts to let it go. Just give me two more like that. And give me the last one. This one really lift up and think lifting tall, reaching those arms to the ceiling and then letting it all go. And now let's start with the first cardio. So we're gonna walk it out, just start marching in place. So each of these segments are gonna be about a minute. We're gonna alternate back and forth, like I said. So you're just gonna get your legs moving here, alternating with your arms. And the more energy you got, if, you're, if it's morning time and you're starting a little slow, that's fine, but I want you to think about that posture. Lift tall, lift out the rib cage, and now we're just gonna do the same left, right, but we're gonna do a little foot pattern. So it looks like this, it's right and back, and right and back, and we're just pumping like this. Keep it going. Give me four more on this side, three more, two more, come back to center. Okay, let's hold it, and now let's switch sides. It's the left. Pull it back, just warming up that body. Get that breath going. Deep breaths, make the movement a little bigger. Sink down a little further. Okay, let's start to give me just two more here. Time for our first strength training move. So pick up your weights. And what I'm gonna do is a one arm row with a tricep kickback. So support yourself on the chair. Back is long, drop the arm from the shoulder and now pull it up and down. We're just gonna do four like this. And then we're gonna put a combination together. So you're pulling the arm up, extending back, making sure the elbow is high, then dropping it down. Up, extend back, and down. Now notice a couple things here. I'm bending for my hips, not for my waist. So I have a nice neutral spine. I'm not rounding, I'm pulling it up. I'm extending back and dropping down. Up, back, and down. A couple form technique little tips here. I don't have, this shoulder is not up here. I have it pulled back and down, which means I have a long neck. I'm keeping my neck in alignment with the rest of my spine. Give me two more like that. Last one. Okay, let's get back to the cardio. Here we go. So now we're going to go to heel digs. Heel digs are just like this. Now, we're starting to get into this a little bit. So depending on your energy level, you can keep it here. If you've got a lot of energy, you can hop it, hop it, hop it, hop it. Otherwise, keep the heel digs right here. Give me four more like that. Three more. We're going to take it into a hamstring curl. Looks like this. Get hamstring curls. And what this means is I'm just kicking that heel behind me. We want to add some arm. You just bring it up and down. And four, three. Let's put those together. Give me those heel digs and push it. We just got eight of these. How about four more right here? Pull and push. Three, two, and one. Now give me the heel dig back and forth. Aha! Uh -huh. Energy picking up. Starting to feel that blood flowing. Almost done with this minute of cardio. We're gonna go right to strength training on the other side, picking up your weights. I'm gonna go over here, and now I'm gonna take it uh -huh, over to my chair. Just to make sure that I'm facing you, I'm gonna to come to this side. You can use obviously the same chair. Remember we did four here. Now what, what was the whole point here? Was to make sure that we're keeping the elbow high as we extend back and lower down. So this is back, 
tricep down, back, tricep down, back, extend and down, back, extend a little higher and down. You should be feeling it right through your rhomboids and your back, and then your tricep, which is the back of your arm as you lower down. If you want to hold it for an extra second at the top, you get that isometric contraction, and you can really feel those muscles working. Okay, we just have three more right here. Two more. Just one more. Let's come back for that cardio. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go into knee lifts. And what I want you to do, make sure your, your weights are on the way. Pick up those knees. Now this is something that you should do depending on your fitness level. You can keep it low, like this. You can bring it high. And now let's add some arm. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Pulling it down, get those knees up there, come across the body, start to twist it, side to side. Now give me two on one side, hold for two. Other side, hold for two. And twos again, and twos again. Give me four more like this, three more, just two more. We're gonna go back to singles, here we go. It's eight, seven, Six, big arms, lift tall, three, two, one. Just bring it center now, bring it center. We're gonna finish off our cardio with eight right here. Eight forward, pull, using the abdominals each time you exhale, pull those abdominals in. Give me three, two, and one. Okay, pick up your weights. I have to go to both sides. I'm breathing, I bet you are too. I love this workout. It goes so quickly and you work everything. Bicep curls. Weights are by your side. Now, I lift and I lower. Lift and lower. Let me give you a couple of tips here. Notice my elbow's not floating forward or floating back. It's right by my side. And I control the movement up and down. We're not working the front of the arm. And just give me four more like that. Control both ways. We're getting a little pattern going here. So now this time I want you to bring it halfway up and just pulse. One, two, three, and four. Take it up, down, up, and down. Again, pulse. Two, three, and four. Take it up, down, contract that muscle. Two more sets. One, two, three, four. Take it up, down, up. Last set. One, two, three, Forward, take it up, down. Okay, ready to finish off with four singles, all the way up and down. Make it count now, this is it. Last two, put those weights down, and let's go to the cardio. Cardio now is gonna be a tap side to side. I love this one. It makes me feel like I'm speed skating a little bit. Side to side. And what you can do is just get those arms swinging, whatever feels comfortable. There's no right arm here, it's just like, oh, I feel good. You're in your living room with whatever arm you want. And now if you want, take one of those legs behind as you step back. This is a little more advanced. You can stick to where you were or one leg goes behind, side to side. And, okay, want me to give you the really next advanced one that you can work up to? Give it a little hop. Give it a little hop. Don't get that heart rate up there. Remember, it's your workout. Go at your pace. If you want to be right here, that's fine. No arms, that's fine too. But let's push it. We're going for the, the last five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now it's time to go into what I, a squat with an overhead press. Try this with or without the weights. If you have any shoulder issues, don't worry about the weights. It's a compound movement. We're gonna drop it down. I'm gonna do a mini squat to begin with. Weight comes up and overhead. Now notice the overhead. I'm making sure that it's in front, not behind me. And as I come over it now, as I said, you can do this with no weights, or if that shoulder doesn't feel right, you can press it forward, or you can just eliminate any of that upper body and just keep it here. But now I want you to sink a little further back into that squat. Notice when I sink back, my shoulders are going slightly forward. And let's put this together. Overhead. 
I love this move because it is functional. It's one of the things that we have to practice sitting in chairs, sitting in cars. And at the same time, it's compound. It's upper and lower. Guess what? That burns lots of calories. You get more for every minute you work out, every second you work out, just two more. You can do it. Last one, press it over. Okay, I think if I'm timing right, this is our last cardio. Okay, so what I want you to do is simple, out, out. Just press it out, press it out. Okay, let's change the arms. And arm, and arm, and arm. Now walk up, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, and tap. Two, three, and tap, and tap. Go low, press it down. Take this into a crossover, kind of like a grapevine. It's one, two, three, push, one, two, push, one, two, three, punch it. Just give me two more like this. Last one, come back to center, and just side to side, side to side. Okay, you're ready for the last toning exercise. What I want you to do is go into a plie. Plie is wider, not that turned out, knees are over the toes, and it's down and up. What I love about this is we're finishing off with some lower body, inner thigh, outer thigh, glute. So just down and up. Now, give me four more like this, making sure the knees are going over the toes, making sure you're dropping down to a level that's comfortable for you, which might be right here. And by the way, you could be holding onto a chair or a counter or anything for stability. So let's take it down now and just pulse it one, Two, three, four, come on up. Take it down and pulse. Two, three, four, come on up. If you need the chair for stability, you should just have it by you during this workout because you can pull it in at any time. Okay, we just have two more like this. Two, three, a little lower. One, two, knees are back, squeezing up. Four, let's finish it off with one and two. And three, and we did it, yeah. Okay, good job. So that was about a 10 minute workout. I think I might went over just a couple seconds, but that, once again, total body, what a great way to get exercise into your day and fit something in that works everything in your body. Hope you have a great day, and I can't wait to see you next time.